Virgo, welcome to this Twin Flame reading here, guys. I'll be using both of my deck scenarios, which is a new one, The Veil of Deceit and Desire, as well as my Illuminated Star Tarot Volume 2. Both of these decks have upright and reversed interpretations. So let's go ahead and see what presents itself here for your reading, Virgo. All right, general advice as always, so please keep that in mind and release what doesn't make sense for you, okay? So let's go ahead and grab a few scenarios. Take which one you're most guided towards. For Virgo, angels and spirit guides, please. Okay, we have the text. It is in the upright. I love you. I'm sorry I hurt you. Please forgive me. I want to try again. Let's not give up on us. All right, so somebody who really wants to apologize perhaps for something that they said or did it's like please forgive me they know that they did hurt you this is the next card we have best friends your ride or die friend compatible friendship fun times lots of laughter hidden romantic feelings so a best friend situation and maybe this is their way of finally telling you how they feel about you all right, let's grab one more here. Okay, we have a reversed soul spouse, okay? So it is in the reverse, though. Lingering tension, divorced soulmates, so take that if it applies. Past karmic soul connection, unfinished past life lessons. So you guys connected in this lifetime and we're meant to be best friends, perhaps. But I feel in maybe a past lifetime, you guys could have been married. You guys could have been lovers. And maybe you were already best friends in a past life scenario. And it's still coming through here. Um, clearly, there's unfinished business between you and this person. But they're telling you here that they are sorry for hurting you and that they love you. All right, so let's take a look at that. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo. What do we need to know about this connection? We do have the devil. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn here. So this person might actually have an unhealthy attachment towards you, or they could have a very obsessive or addictive type way of communicating or interacting with you there could have also been some temptations here let's see we have the full okay so whatever might have happened to challenge this partnership i feel this person and they're coming through as your best friend best friend best lover maybe best relationship that you've ever experienced, there's this desire to start again, to try again. And maybe they recognize, it's like, look, I messed up. I, I would love to be able to, to try again. We do have the Eight of Cups coming through here, Virgo. So maybe you walked away from this person. So something happened here between the two of you that has challenged the partnership. Even though you have so much love for this person, I feel you needed to walk away. Wow. Well, five of Cups. Three of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. So here's the broken heart energy. Here, it could have possibly been a third party. It could have possibly been a love triangle situation. And it's very painful. So if you relate to this, either you were married or taken Virgo or the, or your person, the, your best friend, this individual could have been in another relationship and something happened along the lines and you guys went out of that friend zone and ended up possibly exploring a romantic partnership here, but it was short lived and I feel it turned into some sort of drama filled scenario, but with the five of cups we see the grief we see the loneliness the old wounds attached to this situation it was very painful but i feel for my feminines you know you are coming in as the queen of pentacles and 
you are somebody who's very maternal, very nurturing, very giving of yourself to this person. It's clarifying here for sure that you guys are twin flames, though. Okay. Um, yes, it was not the ideal situation because obviously somebody could have already been taken or again married or in another relationship. So that created some drama with a third party, with a love triangle. But I feel in a previous life, in a past lifetime, you guys already had a connection and you were meant to reunite in this lifetime. So some challenges along the way for this particular twin flame connection. Judgment. Yeah, I feel an apology coming your way, Virgo. This is your twin flame acknowledging that their past behavior hurt you and that they perhaps couldn't make it happen this time around. But I'm also getting that they're wanting to make amends. They're wanting to fix this. They're really wanting to fix this. They, they want to start again. They want to be able to take this leap of faith that the full card is giving them the opportunity to do so, so that you guys could start something new, a new chapter. And it could be a new chapter as friends, especially if there is this need to honor existing relationships or partnerships or marriages that might be a part of this equation. I can't help but feel that for some of you. You know, either someone is married or taken and the best friend ended up being the third party. I don't know. That's just what I'm getting for somebody. There's a twin flame connection here that's being strained because of that. The magician, interesting because the magician represents Gemini as well as Virgo. So it is about a very positive energy and to be able to rekindle and come back together with somebody that you care for and love. But in order for that to be an ideal situation, a love triangle, a third party element that needs to not be a part of the, the situation. So now the interesting part that I just realized, if you guys feel that you relate to that, if you were married and maybe now at this point you're divorced, so that might actually free up a relationship to come together because now there is no third party element. You're both free to explore where this could go. You're both free to love each other openly. So this might actually be offering your situation a reprieve here, Virgo. So take that if it applies. That's what's going to give you guys the opportunity to manifest this in the 3D because some of the obstacles that were there before no longer are. So going back to the Four of Wands, there could be future marriages here or certainly happy reunions for two twin flames who are finally open to love each other and to be together the way you guys are meant to, okay? So yeah, if there is a third party that's no longer a part of the story, then yes, that could bring about a very happy reunion. Divine Feminine, you're coming in as the Empress, okay? So Queen of Pentacles, Empress, both very nurturing in energy. And there could be families, there could be starting a family. It does represent motherhood, parenthood for the Feminine. So I feel this could turn into a very happy outcome. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Wands. There's the opportunity to start again. There's the opportunity for growth here. And interesting too that for those of you maybe that find out that you're pregnant or you're expecting, you know, this as well together could represent the growth of that life. Let me grab one more here. Look at that. And we have the star. Some of you guys could also be dealing with Aquarius here. So there is hope. There is the opportunity to rejuvenate a partnership. And of course, that can represent a wish that can come true for you, Virgo. All right. So even though there are some challenges, it can be overcome. It's very important that a third party element 
no longer be a part of what's on the table in order for you and your twin to come together and be fully open to love each other and really build the life that you guys have envisioned. Okay, so I'll leave that there. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, that info is down below. Thank you guys so much. See you next time. Oh, 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 oh,